Alright, hello and welcome to the grim darkness of the 41st millennium with me, Bring It Dawn. So this is Warhammer 40,000 Dawn of War. Uh, first thing I wanted to address is that there is not a 1920 by 1080 resolution. So we're going to be playing with black bars on the side. There are ways to fix it. There's a hex editor you can use to get that resolution. Uh, but it does weird things with the UI and I really don't like it. So we're not going to be playing in 1920 by 1080. We're going to be playing in... I think 1600 by uh, 1024. So, but anyway, uh, so this is Warhammer 40,000: Dawn of War. Uh, this is one of my favorite RTS games of all time, and it's actually the game that got me into the Warhammer franchise to begin with. Uh, so the game was released initially in 2004. And I remember seeing the original game in Target on the PC game shelf, because uh, again, it would be down the main thoroughfare uh, when we went into Target. And I would always stop and look at it. And I'd open it up, I'd open up the front little cover, and I'd see all the models, and I thought it was the coolest thing. I was really into RTS games in the uh, as early and mid-2000s. Still am, but... I hadn't owned the game until the uh, Game of the Year edition had come out. So it was a... It was an edition that had both the Dawn of War base campaign, as well as the Winter Assault campaign, which also added the Imperial Guard uh, to the game. So for uh, this game, we're just going to be playing the campaign. Uh, there is a multiplayer aspect to it, but we're just going to be playing through the campaign for the Let's Play. And then we're going to go into the uh, Dawn of War Winter Assault campaign. Uh, but in this campaign, you do play as the Blood Ravens here. Uh, they're pretty notorious. They have a lot of uh, poor qualities. And uh, it starts off, you take control of the commander, Gabriel Angelos, and you are initially repelling an orc invasion. But it turns out to be something much more than that. We will get to that as we continue through the campaign. Uh, for the sake of this Let's Play, we will be doing one mission per episode, so the episode lengths will vary, uh, some by quite a bit. But for the most part, they should be pretty standard. Uh, I'm, I'm super excited. I haven't played this game in a long time. Uh, and I do prefer the original Dawn of War games over Dawn of War 2. While there is merit to Dawn of War 2, and I think it makes for a better competitive game, this game is just... I think a better experience overall. So if you've ever been on the fence about the game, definitely get it. I highly recommend it. Fantastic RTS. There's something about the models in the game that just looks so good. But yeah, let's go and jump in. Uh, we'll start the campaign. Mission 1. Load save game. Oh, how many save games? Uh, normal. We might stick with normal. We can do hard. Let's do hard. All right, let's jump in. So the Blood Ravens are, they're a, they're not a first founding chapter. So the Legiones Astartes, Astartes, they're originally 20 legions. They got split up after the Horus Heresy. Uh, the Blood Ravens, their initial, their founding records have been lost or destroyed. So no one knows who their Primarch is, what chapter they were founded from. It is highly speculated they belong to the traitor chapter of the Thousand Sons, or they are descendants from the Thousand Sons. In the name of the Emperor, you will not falter! Mostly due to the high number of librarians in their ranks. The Thousand Sons were notorious uh, for their extremely high amount of psychers and their legion. We can't hold. Run for or librarians. You will fight, or you will die. Also, another important thing to note about the uh, Warhammer universe, uh, there's not really supposed to be any good guys. Uh, the Imperium are technically the good guys, but... They're also... Like a fascist... Religious zealot... Empire, so... Are they really good guys? Right here, we're fighting the Orcs. Which are my... Depending on the day, are my favorite race. Uh, it goes between them and the Space Marines. I am Captain Gabriel Angelos of the Blood Ravens Third Company. Status. My lord, forgive me. We have done all we can to stop the Orcs. But we have failed. My men's lives are yours. You stood your ground in the face of the Emperor's foes. You've done your duty. If your men have failed you, I will leave their judgment in your hands. Thank you, my lord. I am not here for your thanks. 
This port must be held if we are to maintain troops and supply lines to the planet's surface. That is why we are here. Now, what of the wounded and the civilians? Stranded. We have few ships. Then you shall have more. All Blood Raven flights execute Protocol 23 and initiate civilian evacuation. We will dispatch the ground forces. Yes, my lord. Ground forces, my lord? But the Orcs have retreated. You must know your enemy to defeat them, Colonel. Orcs only retreat to regroup. They will keep coming until you or they are dead. Oh, those are servitors. Servitors are usually... Usually criminals. Brothers! Let us destroy this alien filth! Uh, they're criminals that usually get repurposed into being a, like a robotic... Servant, essentially. They get like mind wiped. Uh, they're... They're conscious. Usually conscious. And know what's happening. But they are... Uh, forced to serve. Oh wow, this is really sensitive. It's been so awesome. What a this. glorious day the for Emperor a battle. Protects. As the stronghold... Our frontline battle headquarters is currently being assembled. Heresy we should proceed with caution Nicholas. until it is finished. Uh... On alert, brothers. The enemy must be nearby. All right. Okay, it's been a long time since I've played this, trying to familiarize myself with the controls. Well, Splendid. The stronghold is complete. We must now set about establishing a proper frontline base. Right, what else yes, do I gotta build? What's it want me to do? Barracks. Beware the alien, the mutant, the heretic. Strategic point identified. The first thing we need is a chapel barracks. That will allow us to call down more Space Marine squads. We must start capturing strategic points. These three closest strategic points will do for now. Let us capture them first, and then move on to the others. He who stands with me shall be my brother. Excellent. The chapel barracks is finished. Now you can build some more space marine squads. All right, slap them on. Walk softly. Uh, can I build? And carry a big gun. Yes, Lord. The area is secure. I can't build armor. Under fire. We hold new If we are to defeat he these ends, we, we will need to call brother. in some special weapons. We Marine must build an armory to get access to them. Alright, so when you see that little red circle around them, that means that their morale has broken. Either we've done enough damage to them to, uh, like, break their spirit. You can see it here, this blue bar are my units. Uh, when their morale is broken, it highly reduces their damage and effectiveness in combat. Awaiting orders. Orders received. Excellent! The armory is operational. The they Space Marine suffering. squads can now upgrade their standard what bolters to flamers and heavy bolters. What is your order? Also, this uh, the unit we have now is the basic Space Marine unit, uh, besides maybe the scouts. What is your order? And they have um, a lot of versatility. A lot of what versatility. Softly. We must not oh, forget our power needs. Order. Building our a plasma right. generator yes, will supply us with As the power command. we need to keep our force going. Orders received. So they have a few different weapons they can upgrade their squads with. Uh, you only have up to four out of your squad of, what, nine? Later on we can also add a sergeant to the squad. Uh, so flamers, they're good at breaking morale, which again reduces the effectiveness of enemy units. Uh, the heavy bolter is my favorite. It's got long range and it's effective against infantry. A uh, unit must be stationary to fire this weapon, which is not the case for uh, the flamer or the plasma gun. Plasma gun's good against like heavy infantry are high armor targets, and the missile launcher is good against vehicles. Pretty standard stuff across the board. I need to yes, build Lord. generators, but first let's build. Alright, I don't have any points, that's fine. We probably just pr proceed. The Emperor protects. Oh wow, what's going on here? Oh, it's a crane. It's like, I thought the texture was broken. Yes, most beneficent one. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, speculation that the Raven Guard, or sorry, Blood Ravens Walk belong, softly. or descended from they the Thousand Suns chapter. Uh, again, because of their high, li high librarian count in their chapter. 
as well as their uh, obsession with artifacts. He who stands with me shall be my brother. They have a reputation for stealing a bunch of uh, artifacts that belong to other chapters, other legions, and uh, they keep them all in their armory, but supposedly they do that because they don't know their origins, so they're obsessed with uh, history and where they come from, so they collect everything they can Emma to try to find answers about their origins. What would you have me do? Also, I've seen some people call Gabriel Angelos the uh, the chapter master for the Blood Ravens. That is not the case. Uh, the chapter master comes into play in the second in the second game. Uh, I think one of the ex expansions, uh, Retribution. But Gabriel Angelos is not the uh, the chapter master. He is just the a Emperor captain. protects. I think he's captain of the third company. Attacking as ordered. Oop, man, it's very sensitive. And I don't know if he has the uh Understood. The title the enemies of, of the Emperor Captain still of the Watch or the Night Watch. No peace. Those Imperial Guardsmen look like they could use some assistance. Come, brothers, make haste. Our prayers have been answered. Here come the Space Marines! I await your Also, Space Marines in the uh, the galaxy at large are extremely and uncommon. Big gun. Fear and then they go this way? They need to go this way. Maintain attack formation. So Imperial Guardsmen, which are the regular everyday soldiers of the Imperium, uh, it's very unlikely that they would even find or see a Space Marine in their lifetime. Oh, uh, shoot, he's going to capture this. I didn't even see that over there. Uh, so usually when Space Marines are seen, they're, there's an amount of like reverence and uh, you know, a sense of Here awe by the everyday members of the Imperium who see them. I will do as you ask. Uh, Space Marines are genetically enhanced humans. They have a lot of uh, stuff done to them. Uh, they have like a a carapace, a carapace, like grafted into their skin. Uh, they have a progenoid gland. Uh, things like that. They have a lot of enhancements. Uh, they can spit acid. They can really eat whatever they want, rocks, dirt, whatever, to sustain themselves. Uh, obviously they're more resilient, they're stronger, faster. If you can improve a human in any way, Space Marines typically have it. But a lot of their uh, chapters' gene seeds, which are derived from their Primarchs, have a lot of flaws. On the this day shall be a glorious one for the Imperium. And there's a couple that don't have any Onward, notable Trevari. flaws. It's like the Ultramarines yes, and uh, the Imperial Fists. I exist to serve. I will do as you ask. All right. The Let's Emperor proceed. protects. This should be enough to finish this first mission. Maintain attack formation. And I'm gonna drop some uh, some lore Orders here and there. Received, uh, I might miss some stuff because there's a lot. There is a lot of lore in Warhammer, and uh, I love all of it. It's my favorite franchise. Maintain attack formation. Understood. Weapons at ready. It is time. Moving out. Like it out. How do we get down? Orders received. All right, I'm missing brother. something here. Moving out. Taking heavy fire! Oh, do we need to go this way? Attack formation. Engaging the enemy. The Emperor protects. While the enemies of the Emperor still draw breath, there can be no peace. So orcs are actually a type of fungus. Moving That's how they out. reproduce. Maintain attack formation. Moving out. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, oh here Maintain we go. There's a marker formation. right there. It's on the map. <laughs> I'm awful at this. Beware the alien, the mutant, the heretic. And that's uh, orcs were bred by an ancient species called the old ones who had. Uh, they created several species, the Eldar included, which are basically space elves. Praise the Emperor. Uh, but Take orcs are bred for old. war. They love war, yes, they live to fight. As you wish. And again, they're a type of fungus, so when they die, like the body turns into spores. Not immediately, but over time it'll generate spores and they'll... That's how more orcs are grown. The spores will land and pollinate the planet and more orcs will keep spawning, creating these massive 
was or what they actually called W like A A A A A A A A G H. I await your instructions. I'm sure most of you that are watching this know most of the Warhammer lore, but uh. For those of you who don't. Secure. Well done. Uh, we have captured several strategic uh, points. Capturing strategic points and building listening Orders posts on them see. earns us more requisition resource, Taking which damage. we can use when we build squads Charge. and equipment. It is time to hunt down the source of these orcs. They must have a base somewhere within he the walls of this imperial facility, be, my brother. Well. Also, every race in the game has, uh, like, Glory. their buildings have a unique aspect to them. Orc camp. And look there! None a break in the spaceport's us. defensive wall. Charge. They must have blasted their way in. We must destroy the this enemies of the Emperor and still any others these foul creatures may have constructed. It's like orcs have all these weapons on their uh, weapons are ready. on their buildings and things like that. An Imperial Guard, they can pan their buildings. Uh, they're not at the first game, though. Plants, urge, kill. Objective log. Excellent. Yes, the point is now protected from an orc retaliation. What would you have we should continue to build listening posts on all Heresy our captured points. Excellent. This orc camp has been destroyed. If you have any questions about the war, feel free to ask. I, I'm pretty confident in most of my knowledge. This day shall be a uh, there are a few one for the areas of debate in the lore. Area secure. Uh, there's an, uh, there's a. Uh, yes, Lord. I will do as you ask. Kind of a system in place, with Warhammer, where everything is technically canon. Correct us. Uh, there's a lot of ambiguous lore as well, and it's left up to the interpretation of the uh, we are the, of the player. God. It he is time who stands we with me like shall it. be my brother. Or the in individual. Moving out. Orders received. Like there's uh, Maintain attack formation. So initially there were twenty Understood. legions, uh, but there are two unknown legion legions. The uh, was it the second and the eleventh. Understood. Sorry, I was thinking space wolves were second. Lemon what? Lehman Rust was just the second primary fell. Fear our wrath. Uh, space Wolves are my favorite chapter. Maintain They're basically space formation. Vikings, if you're not familiar. Weapons at ready. It is time. Stay vigilant, brothers. Weapons at ready. It is time. None just stop. The enemy is attacking. Onward to glory. Moving out. Onward to glory! Commencing attack. So orcs, uh, they worship their gods, Gork and Mork. One is uh, brutally cunning and one is cunningly brutal. Orders received. None shall stop us. And their lore is really interesting. Um, some of the... They're just... There's some lore that describes them as... Well, I don't want to get into that yet because I haven't talked about the war or anything. I mean, we'll get to that until probably a little bit later once we're introduced to one of the other threats on the planet. Commencing attack. Maintain attack formation. Charge. While the enemies of the Emperor still draw breath, that can be. Initiating attack protocol. Quick, direct us to the area. Today, the enemy shall no fear. So orcs have this uh, unique ability, and it's there's a lot of debate as to the uh, power of this ability. Basically, the more orcs are in a location, the more powerful they become. Attacking as ordered. They have this like uh, the left, is that a field. The enemy must be nearby. Or gestalt field. I don't know how you pronounce it. On alert, brothers. Where the, enemy must be nearby. the orcs will generate a psychic field around their horde. And kind of like whatever they believe 
comes true to an extent. Again, it's a matter of debate how powerful that actually is. He who stands with me shall be my brother. I know some people absolutely hate the idea that you know, anything's possible with the orcs, or you know, some people are like, oh, well, anything should be possible with the orcs. It's their, you know, their unique ability. Because uh, for the most part, when you look at orc equipment, their guns and stuff, they're very ramshackle, and they really shouldn't work. Uh, but because they believe that they work, they do. So a good example is um, this day shall be a glorious one for the Imperium. Orcs believe that the color uh, is it yellow, or is it red? Makes it faster. Orders received. And blue is sneaky. Cleanse, purge, kill. Oh darn! I don't remember the color schemes now. I think red. Yeah, red is more explodey. Or is yellow more explodey? Regardless, they, ha they have specific colors they associate with certain properties. So I think yellow is more explodey. Uh, red is faster. That might be backwards. And I think blue is sneaky. And so the vehicles that are painted red typically go faster and things like that. Uh, because they believe it. That's what they. They believe. And again, the more that are in one area, the more powerful that, that field becomes. What would you have me do? And again, the uh, again, the, the effectiveness is a matter of debate. Area secure. received, brother. Understood. On alert, brothers. The enemy must be nearby. Honestly, I think that power makes them more Maintain exciting. I know a lot of people formation. hate it. I, I really like the idea of anything being possible with enough orcs around. Uh, there's a theory going around. There's a... Commissar, who's a type of leader in the Imperial Imperial, Imperial Guard. Excellent. Um, this orc camp has been destroyed. His name is Yarek or Yarek. And there's a really cool theory involving him and the orcs of uh, Gestalt field. Basically, the reason why he's so powerful and so good at fighting orcs is because they, they believe he is. And that's why he hasn't died yet. They don't believe that he can die. And I really like that theory. I think it, it just it adds a lot of flavor to the, uh, the to the lore. But again, some people just can't stand that idea. And they will rave and rant about Praise it. Praise the Emperor. Weapons at ready. It is time. But really, part of the charm of the Warhammer 40,000 universe is that anything can be possible. It's, it's up to the individual to decide what is possible. Orders received, so I think all theories brother. should be accepted. Fear no. our wrath. Don't be a jerk. Fear our wrath. Everyone's here because Let's they enjoy the same purge. stuff. Kill. Just because you have a slight disagreement doesn't mean you have to be a jerk to somebody. Onward to glory. Never understood that. Understood. Understood. I keep trying to click and drag Understood. like it's uh, Dawn of War 2. Moving out. Because you can choose which way to face in Dawn of War 2, so you like you right click and then drag. Stay vigilant, brothers. It doesn't work in this game. Fear I like this game a lot more wrath. because the battles are usually bigger. There's more units on the field. And it Moving out. I mean, that's it's part of the charm of Warhammer 40,000. The scale of the conflicts. It's a galactic scale. Orders received. Maintain attack formation. The enemy is attacking. We will crush the enemies of the Imperium. I need to actually get closer. Onward to glory. Engaging the enemy. On alert, brothers. The enemy must be nearby. Today, the enemy shall know fear. My face is my shield. Engaging 
Yeah, honestly, I'm, I keep freezing because I don't know what to talk about because there's so much he to talk who stands about. stands with me shall be my brother. This is the first Warhammer the game on my of the channel, Emperor so still I'm trying to... Breath, there can be no peace. I'm debating on like what would be best to introduce people to the franchise. Obviously, I'll talk about the races as they're, in, as they're introduced. Uh, there's only four races in the first game. Then the, uh, the next game introduces a couple more. My faith is my shield. But I don't remember if the Necrons are actually playable in Winter Assault, or if that's not until Dark Crusade. I think that's not until Dark Crusade. They do make it appearance in Winter Assault, though. The Emperor protects. The Necrons are like my third favorite race. Fear our beneath wrath. the Orcs and Space Marines. Weapons at ready. It is time. Maintain attack formation. The enemy is attacking. But it is important to keep in mind that uh, there are no good guys in Warhammer. This is not supposed to be. Uh, again, Games Workshop, the owners of the franchise, do tend to favor the Space Marines because they sell well. And it's if you see a Space Marine, most likely he's going to win. But that's not supposed to be the case. Today, the enemy shall no fear. Shall be a glorious one for the Imperium. Yeah, I kind of I lucked out in getting into Warhammer, so I had owned this game. Not this one in particular. This is the game of the year edition. Uh, but I had owned this game, and then I got into uh, there's a bookstore that went out of business in my town, in my hometown. Engaging the enemy. Commencing attack. And they had a bunch of Warhammer books, like, for super cheap, because they went out of business. It was a big clearance soon. And I only recognized those books because of this Under game. Fire, the Emperor protects. And so the books are actually, I think, what actually got me into the franchise, into the lore and stuff. But, I mean, I played the crap out of this game. There. That's the last of them. Well done, Blood Ravens. Victory is ours. Fear Excellent. This orc camp has been destroyed. Orders received, brother. Weapons at ready. It is time. Moving out. Orders received. Understood. Weapons at ready. It is time. Yeah, I, I don't think I mentioned it. I didn't actually own the base game. I think I, I started with the Game of the Year edition, or the Gold edition. Because uh, it had both. Wonder Assault and the basic game. In it. Walk softly. Also, I don't remember all the hotkeys, so I, you will see me clicking instead of the hotkeys. I'm not, I'm not a pro gamer. This day shall be a glorious one for the Imperium. Beware the alien, the mutant, the heretic. And I used to play uh, the skirmishes a lot, so I'd have myself against a bunch of uh, AI. Or bots and I'd put it on the hardest difficulty and what I do is I just sit there and I'd build up my base I wouldn't attack I would just build up my base get all my most powerful units out and I would wait and then I'd, ha I'd make myself have this awesome last stand and see how many enemies I could kill before they finally overwhelmed me uh, there was one it lasted like four and a half hours it was like a four and a half hour skirmish uh, this I'd, day shall be a glorious one for was, the Imperium. I was playing the Imperial Guard, and I had p decided to have one ally that was like on normal difficulty. So it was two versus four. But all Captured. the uh, all the enemies were on alert, brothers. The well, they're enemy all orcs, must be nearby. and they were all on the uh, insane difficulty. Stay vigilant, brothers. Moving out. Clench, and all I did was I kill kept throwing units into my building. I held off for like four and a half hours. It Orders was, received, it was an insane Orders received, game. Brother. Orders received, brother. Cleanse, urge, kill. And I wish I still had the, uh, the recording received. for that. Weapons or the, ready. the replay, because you can save replays in this game. Understood. For the glory of the Imperium. That's a Lehman Russ battle tank. Named after the Primarch Lehman Russ. Who is the Primarch of the Space Wolves? My favorite, favorite chapter. We will crush the enemies of the Imperium. 
Favorite loyalist chapter. Favorite uh. For duty, sir. Favorite traitor Here chapter is probably wrath. the Iron Warriors. Stay vigilant, brothers. Maintain attack formation. Awaiting orders. Armor reporting. What's most supposed to do here? I don't remember. I know I talked a little bit during the cutscenes this time. Uh, I won't do that anymore. Moving forward, I'm conscious of it now. The area is secure. Orders received, brother. Maintain attack formation. I'm rather running in like that, but all right. Yes, my lord. Form up, men. There's work to be done. Tartarus. Sorry, I was trying to remember the name of the planet we were on. Heavy support available. Heavy support available. Maintain attack formation. Alright, I guess I would go all the way that way. I forgot how long these missions were. But it's fine. One mission per episode. And I don't remember how many missions there are. I think there's 20. But that's... I'm just pulling that out of my butt. I have no idea. Here to serve. So you guys have something to do. Initializing build protocol. While the enemies of the Emperor still draw breath, there can be no peace. Heavy support available. So I sent him back here to uh, get repaired. Yes, most beneficent one. So that's what we'll do. So I don't need that. Beware the alien, the mutant, the heretic. At your command. This day shall be a glorious one for the Imperium. Orders received, brother. Stay vigilant, brothers. Understood. Moving out. Moving out. Maintain attack formation. Sorry, am I missing something? Maintain what am I supposed to do here? Formation. Oh, I didn't build a plot. I didn't build a generator. Whoopsies. Yes, most beneficent one. That's what I need I to do. You That's ask. like I think I'm done. Awaiting orders. Cleanse, purge, as your command. Heresy grows from idleness. Well, I hope I'm done because these guys are stuck. Plasma generators will continue to produce power at a constant rate, but there is a limit of how many plasma generators can be built per stronghold. Please leave advice, Gabriel Angelos. There's our librarian. I am honored to be in the presence of a librarian. I wish to know how my men can better serve you. We shall wait for the captain to finish his prayers. I saw you stand against the orcs. You are a brave man, Colonel. I wish I could say the same of your men. I shall strengthen their resolve, my lord. See that you do, or we shall do it for you. You have something you wish to say. Say it, Colonel. How did you know? Even without my psychic gifts, it is obvious. Speak. Is it true your company eradicated a heresy on the planet of Cyrene recently? 
an exterminatus, down to the planet's last man, woman and child. Colonel, your company is welcome, but such questions are not. Do not ask the captain about Cyrene, if you intend to remain in his good graces. Brother Captain, the Colonel wishes an audience with you. Thank you, Isidore. My Lord, my Tartarus 37th Imperial Guard Regiment stand ready to serve you in protecting the city. They wish to make amends for... They will have many opportunities to prove themselves warriors worthy of the Emperor. The Blood Ravens are leaving the city. Its protection is in your hands. I will ready my men. May I ask what your next course of action is? Orcs only respect strength. I intend to show them that we have it in ample supply. Huzzah! Great success. Took me a little longer than it should have, but I wasn't paying attention. Mission success. Would you like to proceed to the next mission? And no, I would not. We're going to call it here. In the next episode, we will proceed to the next mission. Um, but for now, I'm going to call it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed your first taste of the uh, the year of Warhammer on the channel. Plenty of Warhammer to come. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.